safety glasses, and safety gloves. Careful. Like just have it be flat, 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 and then just a tiny little edge. What's up guys, welcome back to another pottery video. So happy you could join me in the studio today. Today we have a video which is a follow up video. If you haven't seen my last, the video that I did about these recycled glass coasters in the video like a few months ago, uh, go check that one out. And I, so that video has kind of been getting a lot of views recently. Like, I think it's playing right after my hand warming mug video, which is getting a lot of views. So, there's been a lot of people that are like, John, use gloves. Or like, this person is blatantly ignoring all safety precautions. You should not be instructing people. Some comments are like, worried about my hands handling the glass. Uh, other comments are telling me that I am irresponsible and I should not be teaching people. So, I wanna make this video to Clear some things up. So we're gonna give you some more tips and tricks because I also have had a lot of people messaging me saying that their coasters are breaking in the kiln. So they open it up and they made 12 and all 12 broke or something like that. So this video is to the safety precautions, like using glass and clay together can cause some serious safety precautions that need to be dealt with. I got some new gloves so you guys don't have to worry so much about my hands anymore. And safety glasses, so you don't have to worry about my eyes anymore. Uh, and then, the, so those are the main things that I did not do in my first video was use safety glasses and safety gloves. I will be very, very careful in this one. The other thing that you have to, have to, have to know if you're gonna mix glass and clay together is that it cannot be used as regular functional pottery. It is not food safe and it should be only, only, only ever used in decorative purposes. That's for a couple reasons. The glass is not completely sealed, A. So there's all those little tiny cracks in there, all those little cracks that you see in there, those are not sealed. So stuff can get inside there. Theoretically, glass would be able to pop off of there. So if you're using this like as a little plate and you're eating it and a little piece of glass comes off and you're gonna eat a piece of glass, which sounds terrible. So don't, don't use it, don't use it. Don't use it in functional wear. Don't use it in something that pe someone's gonna take home and start mixing up their batter to make cookies or whatever. Just only use it for decorative purposes and make sure that you tell anybody buying it only for decoration. This is another warning for these, is that the glass, and I have not experienced this myself, and I've made a lot of these, but I have heard that people, if you rub your hands on it, that there can be glass that sticks up and you could get cut by that. Those are the risks. When you're making them, wear goggles, wear gloves, handling glass. When you are selling them or using them, Make sure that they're for decorative purposes only. They are not food safe. They are not to be used on plates. They are not to be used on the bottom of bowls. Only, 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 only use them for decorative purposes. That's why coasters work really well because you're never gonna eat anything off a coaster. You're not gonna like, that's why it's such a cool effect, but be careful. So be very careful. You know the risks associated with using glass and clay. I can. Now go back to sleeping at night. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the tips and tricks we're gonna get on the wheel and I'll show you. So what we do not want to do is we do not want the edge to be like that. We do not want to trap the glass. What we do want is to have it be flat in the middle and to have this edge just be almost nothing. Like just have it be flat, 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 flat and then just a tiny little edge as to just like really gradually go up. So like that, that would work, that would work very well. Right there. 
the reason that you guys might get some breakage, this is like, is this camera like, that tripod is like, so whenever I'm making these coasters, you cannot make them, you're almost thinking about them as flat discs. And when that glass melts in there, it needs room to spread out, right? So if you make the coaster so it's like has a flat bottom and then it has straight up edges and there's a lot of glass in there, that glass, the, gla the, the clay is shrinking, right? And so if it, if it keeps shrinking and the glass isn't shrinking at the same rate that the clay is, then the clay has nothing to do but just break because the, the glass will be hard and the clay will be shrinking around it and then it's like, oh, I can't shrink anymore. What do I do? I crack. So I think about really like giving that glass room to spread. So instead of like throwing it out and then up, you wanna make sure that you throw it like, like this and then like that. So that's number one. Number two is just don't use so much glass. Like if you fill, the, if you throw it kinda like this and then you fill it all up with glass and it melts, then that's also gonna cause, cause breakage. So you wanna make sure that you're not using too much glass, you don't need that much glass. Just imagine this is our coaster that we're gonna add glass to. So we put glaze on there first. Oh, now I can just reach, now I can just reach in there without even worrying about it. So if we were gonna wanna fill this up, like that right there would be plenty, would be plenty of glass. That would, that would fill up to the edges. It would be completely flat, just like this one, or this one. So, you don't, you don't need much more than that. So if you can see my edges on there, and the edges on all these, are just, it's almost just like a flat disc. More than it is a plate with edges. So yeah, that would be. That would be plenty of glass right there for this one. That's actually probably too much. Like this, on this one, is probably even too much glass. I'd probably take this big piece off and add like there. Like that's plenty of glass right there. I think that's it. I think I got my point across. Be careful with these glass coasters. Wear gloves, wear safety glasses when you're breaking a glass, and then make sure that you are never, ever, ever getting your pots used in a food safe situation. There are potters out there that would say, do I look silly with these? There are potters out there that would say, glass doesn't belong in the clay studio, don't do it. But I say if you can know and manage the risks, then there are some really cool things you can do with it. That's what I have to say about the situation. But be careful, know the risks, Know the warnings, take precautions, make sure your customers know the risks as well. All right, I think that's it for this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, all the things. We'll see you in the next video. Go on an adventure.